In this video, we take a look at how to create a very simple Christian music cover art or you can call it a flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. Find inside the description a link to download all the resources that we are going to use in this particular project and feel free to practice over and send it to me on ig and let's get interacted now without any further ado let's jump right into photoshop and let's get started so here in the wonderful world of photoshop the first thing that we want to do is we want to create the music cover template or the size and the standard size if you google it is going to give you 1600 by 1600 so i'm using photoshop cs6 so i'll go to file and then new this should work with any version of photoshop including the latest one so i'm going to set my size to 1600 by 1600 pixels and then i'll go ahead and click ok now let's start off with the background design so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the layer adjustment or the create new fill over here click on it and create a gradient so what i'm going to do is i've already set up my gradient so i'm going to open my gradient bar and i'll scroll down to the very last part that is the gradient that i set and this is the color that i'm using in case you want to use the same thing so i'll go ahead and click ok and then i'll click ok from here and then i'll come to the style i'm going to change that to radial i'll go to this portion here that says reverse and i'm going to reverse it the rest of the things is basically going to remain the same and then i'll go ahead and click ok so now let's go into the resource we have a couple of things to do and the first things that we want to do is the background over here this is the finished design that i created so we're going to just do this one so let's first bring this background of jesus on the cross and basically we are just using backgrounds that depict the theme of the flyer or the cover art that we are creating the cover art says that songs of the cross so basically we want to create something that upon just seeing the image you can resonate with what you are creating so we bring in our background and we can open it up a little bit and make sure that it fills the topmost part of our design you can even open it up a lot more if you feel like it is too small for you and then afterwards you double click and then you're going to right click on this one and rasterize the layer press on ctrl shift and then u to desaturate this image and what you're going to do is you're going to select the blend mode over here and you're going to turn this one to overlay now basically after this one what we're going to do again is you head over to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then you're going to apply a bit of gaussian blur but you don't have to make it so very big so you play around with your radius according to how much you want to see the background picture reflect in your background that is how you're going to set your radius so after you get the exact thing that you want you go ahead and then you click ok the next thing that we want to bring in is the second background that we have so this particular background so let's drag and drop that also inside of photoshop and then we we'll place it right on top of the other background now we take time to position it right over here as well and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on that as well rasterize the layer and we're going to the blend mode and set this to multiply now this background is already sort of filtered but if you feel like it is too hard for you as well you might want to go to filter and blur and then you blur that one as well or you can press ctrl f and then it is going to apply the previous filter that we had on this background onto this one as well but let's keep the original one and the next set of things that we are going to do is we're going to create a rough shape on top of this one so what we do is we're going to this new layer over here click on it to create a new layer and then you go onto your lasso tool or the the lasso tools and we're going to pick the lasso tool so this is what we are going to use to create that rough edge sort of thing shape that you see over there so you start from basically i might not get the exact thing on the actual design but i believe you get the concept so what you're going to do is you're going to start from any point at all that you want so let's assume we start from here for the lasso tool when you left click on it 
it doesn't or you don't leave your mouse you just basically have to go like that and then when we get to this point for instance we go up scale like that we are sort of creating something like a mountain okay so we can come to this portion like that and then when you get to this part you just come back to the place that you started and then it will create a shape for you now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that and go to fill over here and then you can fill it with a black color so you choose black and then you click ok and then you can press ctrl d to deselect so once you have this one the next thing that you want to do is you want to go into the resource again and over here i got two crosses for you so basically we are talking about the cross the cross of jesus okay so what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of them i decided to go with this one but you can use any other one and then you're going to drag and drop that also inside of photoshop now you make sure that you position it in the middle and that is one of the reasons why you have to also make sure that you have this shape right but after you bring in the cross you're going to press ctrl t to transform it a little bit like this and then you can take time to position it right over there so something very simple like that let's try to send it up a little bit okay so we have it over here so now we can go ahead and add our test and i'm going to use only two fonts in this design so i'll go for my test tool and the first font that we are going to use is called trajan pro i'll leave links in the description if you want to download it so this is basically going to be the ministry name or sort of the name of the minister so coffee ministries and i did this for a friend who will be releasing the songs this saturday i'll leave a link to his youtube channel in the description if you want to check that out so i'm going to position it over here press ctrl a and then i'll make sure that it is centered now let's try to even make this one bold so let's use the bold one and then you can press ctrl t to transform it as you want so the second font that i'm going to use is called brush strike brush strike over there so i'm going to type songs of there and then i'm going to select all of it like that and i'm going to open my color palette right over here and i'm going to send it right over there so something very simple like that or better still you can even make this one quite but i i'm trying to use something from this point so that it can make a lot of sense so once i get it here what i do is i click ok and then ok and then i press ctrl j to make another duplicate drag it right underneath of it and i'm going to select all of that and i'm going to type the cross so songs of the cross and i'm going to open that up to be very big so that is going to be very big like this and i'll select all of it and change the color back to black and i'll click ok and ok from here so let's try to open this one up some more what do you think so we position it right over here and that'll be it for the top part of it so for the rest of the things i'm going to borrow the coffee ministries over here and i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate and i'm going to drag it down over here so i'm going to edit this one to the date which says that 0304 2021 so this saturday the video will be live and then you're going to enjoy some songs of the cross be sure to check out my friend's channel link will be in the description so you open the toggle character and we want to open the tracking over here so something like that very simple and then what we're going to do again is we're going to make a duplicate one more duplicate and then underneath here let's select it all and close the leading back so minus 40 again and what we're going to type here is so let me correct the typos here and that is why i basically write everything that i use in this video so video will be available on youtube so i think this one is good and then we can scale it up a little bit but make sure that it is centered as well and then you make one last duplicate of and then here the the video is going to be on all other platforms as well so at minister underscore coffee on all platforms so for that i got these social media handles and i just arranged them but you can take them one after the other but i just want to save you time so i'm going to drag and drop that also inside of photoshop and then i'll position it right over here so 
on all other platforms as well the name is minister underscore kofi so you can follow him and then you can enjoy some of his music so i'm going to group these two press ctrl g and then i'll press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and it is in line with these ones but i'm going to select the minister kofi here and i'm going to give it a different color from this particular point some somewhere here and then i'll go ahead and click ok all right so once you're done with this you just the rest of the things is you take time to adjust it and make sure that the spacing and everything is in line so you can take time to make sure that your spacing is nice and this looks very presentable the last thing that we want to do is the compositioning over here this looks very pale so let's go and select our main background that is the picture of jesus on the cross and then we're going to press ctrl l to add a bit of adjustment or levels to it so i'm going to drag it to the very right side a little bit so that you can see the actual image that we placed at the background so you drag it a little bit like that and once you're done you can go ahead and click ok now remember that this is just a cover art without an image that is why you see no sort of image on here but then if you want to add images you can as well go with the same style but then you can find a place to place the image and yes that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you gained value out of this and if you did please hit on the subscribe button so that you continue to receive more value from this channel as well i have other flyers and cover arts and other designs that you might as well be interested in so don't forget to check out i'll leave links all links in the description and don't forget to head over to my friend's channel to check out his music so that you'll be blessed through his music thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye